Well, what's up, guys? It's PG here again. I'm about to show you day two on canals on the Gears of War beta that I recorded. This is probably a couple hours in into the beta. I didn't really want to kind of give you one of my worst clips. I kind of should looked around and found the best clip of day two on canals because I, I didn't want to show you gridlock again. I kind of want to show you uh, the, the different maps. But right here, as you see, I'm running towards the sniper rifle. I pick up the sniper rifle and try to blow this up. My, actually, that's my friend, I'm pretty sure, that hits head off. I think we're, yeah, we are in a party right now talking to each other. Just, I'm telling him, man, you better not pick up that sniper. I'm going to blow his head up. And he knows better. I, I got pretty decent with the sniper at this point. I'm still not 100% uh, how I used to be. I, I used to be really... I personally thought I was pretty decent with it. I'm not I'm not trying to glow or anything like that, but I thought I was pretty good with the sniper rifle at that point. But the gameplay you might see with it here, I you probably won't you probably think otherwise. I I should not have rushed me. That was a one shot shotgun. I don't know how my shot was that strong, but I was able to pull it off and get that one shot shot. I mean it's it's always a good feeling when you get that one shot or you just blow them away in one piece. It's always the best feeling in Gears of War. My team just spawned right here. Yeah. There's like four or five Rolling spawn points stop. on this map. Um, the, let me talk about the weapons. The two snipers are still on each side of the map, as they're used to. The frag grenades are in the top of the bridge. Torp bow under the bridge, and then the bow talk. And the bow talk on the little behind the little sandbags right there, right below the middle of the bridge. And yeah, nothing really have changed other than they remastered the graphics and most of the gameplay. So, and it's just it's really a great feeling most of the time when you play it. There's still some glitches here and there, like I said again in my other commentary. But if we see some here and there, then I kind of like point them out. I don't know if you might see them, but I, I could definitely tell if I see them again. I do almost got me right there with the torb. It feels like the torb bow is more fluent in this one. Right here, me and my friend. Me and my friend actually meet up at the boy. He picked up the sniper, and I just completely choked right there. But knowing Gears of War and how um, Gears 1 worked, you can still kind of poke your gun around the corner and still not kind of shoot through the corner and they, they're not able to see your head, which is pretty, um, I don't know if they should fix that. I think that may be a problem in the game, but that's kind of how the game is. I don't think there's any way to fix that, so. I, I kind of, I think I turned on this, no, never mind, I thought I, I turned on him, but I got completely right, my friend just chased me down, he wanted his revenge, and he got it. That's brutal, the chainsaw, the chainsaw, kill right there when he's on the ground, that was just unnecessary, but, you know, always fun, or grenade tagging people on the ground, that's always fun too, and here, here's the grenade right here in the middle of the map. So right here, I kind of like decided to uh, run towards the flag, I wanted to break the capture because i think we're one man down at the moment with the one shot again then with the grenade kill as a finisher as you can see let's see how good my shotgunning is Got another. i'm pretty uh, i'm pretty good at uh, blind firing it and the one shots are just coming Rocking in left and right with me and i don't know how i'm doing it but they're just coming in fluently and it's just it's a really great feeling I try to pick up the sniper as much as you can. I would tell anybody to do this is just to practice. Even if you miss your shot, you're gonna miss a lot of your shots. But if you wanna get really good with the sniper, you're gonna have to constantly use it. You're gonna miss most of your shots, but when you finally get those shots, you, you, you start to see how, how much better you can actually get. And it's, just, it's a really great feeling. Here's a frag grenade, pick them up right here and just throw them right in the middle. Uh, there's a thing with the frag grenades and this one I'm not sure if it was in the original gears uh, when it explodes it kind of like stuns your opponent yeah. even your partner at times yeah, I try to I try to snipe the sniper but I pretty uh, I think he had an active reload and he just downed me and I was getting shot from the left and there's nothing really I could do at that point most of my teammates I don't think they were going for the the king of the hill but they just got the game so if you remember in day one commentary the same the same thing i did um i kind of didn't go for the hill i kind of was trying to get more used to the game and and 
my guy. He just got Lancer down. Like I said, the Lancer is extremely strong still, and I'll take that. Should not be taken lightly whatsoever. And there we go. With the one, my friend got me back with the one shot right there, and they were able to pull off the the first win. We were one man down the entire time, so. This is a really big team-based game. Um, just being one man down could uh, just mean the loss of your team, really. Just because how the spawning is. I was able to get the one shot right there, but my friend was able to, to down me with the Botox and finish me off, oh, man. Before they finished, it, it changed the hill, sadly. These guys were kind of... They, they kind of knew what they were doing, but at the same time, they weren't. So I kind of had the... The, the the noob squad on my team sad to say but it's all right you're still able to pull it off you know it was only one round so right here I, this is i think this round we actually come back one of their teammates actually leave and we actually hold it down and um uh, i actually get 37 kills if i haven't stated it yet i get 37 kills by the end of this and maybe like 19 pounds or something and you just watch you, see, you just see the gameplay and it gets really it gets really intense at times i think when you're going for the hill and Everybody, there you go. There's one of their teammates at left. Here, my friend really thought I wasn't that good with the sniper at this point, and I think I, I'm gonna take his head off right here. Let's see. I'm just trying to focus it. I tried to get him right that through that crack, right if I could see him, but it never works. <laughs> He's trying to use a smoke grenade, but it didn't work out so well. And every time you get that sniper shot, it's that really satisfying explosion of the head that really that triggers in my brain that reminds me of Gears of War most of the time. It's just the noises of Gears that really get stuck in your head at times and it, it's a really great feeling. That guy wasn't really as good with the Torbo. He probably should have got me right there, but I guess me shooting at him kind of like startled him a little bit and it just he was choking a lot. And probably the worst thing you could do is get rid of your shotgun on Gears, personally. I mean, I like the Lancer. Maybe in Gears 3, because of the... When you oh, used man. to shoot people, they slow down. But in this one, no. I don't think getting rid of I'll your shotgun is it's worth it. And I got another headshot right there. You see me... Look, the double headshot, actually. Kind of improved. It wasn't really that hard of a shot. But at the same time, hey, it's, it's still a headshot. And it still counts, so... Really, it's, it's that sound. I know you guys love it. Everybody loves that sound. That headshot sound from here, yeah. I could, I should have shot a little earlier. Probably saved my teammate, made him kind of like recoil back with the chainsaw. But I wanted that headshot so bad, so I'm sorry, teammate. But right now I got 13 kills. Look at that, holding it down. We actually started winning because it, the game actually became even. It was 3v3, you know. Yeah. But what is it? Yeah, they stopped trying to go after that one. I, I think I decided to go for some more ammo for the sniper. I think a key part of this game is ooh, headshot. A key part of this game is to um, try to hold down the power weapons as well, but not to lose them either. I mean, uh, sometimes people think, okay, it's alright to go grab all the power weapons, but you gotta grab them and not lose them at the same time. If you just run out there and die and give it to them, definitely closer to the hill, which is not smart. And headshot. Can't believe that. I don't know what that guy was doing, but yeah. I just, I kind of go on a headshot spree, kind of been practicing a little. Same, same, at the same time, they're not moving or too difficult a great i think a really great tactic is to down them and then use your pistol to kill them a lot of people may think cheap or something but there's a reason why uh we were given a, a given a pistol and my friend just i thought the melee i was like i thought i was gonna be able to double melee my friend right there and he just completely just bodied me away blew me into pieces and oh man me and him were having a little rivalry between between each other the entire game I think a lot of people don't know how to use the shotgun at times. A lot of people are, are kind of like confused in between of either blind firing, pop shotting, or actually holding the shock or the, the aimer down and actually shooting. And I think my personal tip of um, my personal tip of that is to kind of it, it's kind of between the pop shot and holding it in. I think most of the time it's better if you kind of actually aim it in for a while and shoot them, so you could get more of a damage, uh, as you could say. At the same time, if you're really close or behind a wall, I personally uh, prefer the blind firing of the shotgun. Take a chance. 
And then, of course, the wall bouncing is probably one of the biggest things that you kind of need to learn. Smoke out. Wall bounces, wall bouncing could completely change the outcome of the game through a smoke grenade. They're, they're not gonna rush. I don't think people like to rush while in the smoke because they just can't see anything and just kind of worry that they're gonna die or something. So, but that's my friend right there. See, like right there, you have. I didn't, I didn't aim in, but I, I blind fired. Good to go. Yeah, I was kind of making fun of him right now, just taunting him. I decided to do the the old-fashioned curb song, blow his brains out. But at times, when you're using a sniper, I personally think um, just try to get the shot off. At times, just hit hit the enemy, so even your teammate can just get the kill. You know, but at the same time, you just want the enemy to get hurt or down. Teammate with the with the just the Spartan chain, so I wasn't scared. Just ran in there and just took him out. My friend ran in there. I hit him with the sniper, and then my friend, my partner, finished him off. It's a, it's a really good, it's a really good combo. Got one. Like I said again, this is more team based. I, I don't really don't think you should worry about kills unless it's team deathmatch or something like that. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter about the kill. It should be about the win as a team and how to hold it down as a team. Shit. And the composition and all that stuff. And we kind of we actually start working together very well uh, when they actually lost their their fourth. At the same time, really, me and my friend are the ones that've been playing the longest, yeah. so he was really kind of maybe the only challenge. So I won't say I was doing crazy good against like people who knew how to play because these guys just got the beta, so I can't really go around gloating like oh. I'm great, but the gameplay that was given was still pretty good. He actually turned on me right there, jumped over the wall and just bodied me. Just, I thought I, was, I thought my teammate was actually going to support me right there, and it, just, it didn't happen. Right there. I'm telling you, the Lancer, like, if you have a teammate who runs in there with a shotgun and the teammate that stays behind in Lancers... It's it's just a really it's just a really great combo. It's just the damage from the lancer and the shotgun together is just knocks people down really quick. Definitely in this game, a lot of people just want a shotgun battle like it's just gears of war and it's just only shotguns. But no, lancers really can change the outcome of the game. So I try to advise or at least tell people to try to use the lancer. Definitely when people are really far, almost ran into death right there, kind of. Got out luckily. Yeah, that was. I almost could have got bodied right there. Hoping he would chase me. That's the thing about Gears, it's more like a game of. Cat and mouse. You see the kind of person who would chase you and you kind of get him into a trap and you, you shot out shotgun him. And right there, I was able to actually save my teammate and just snag another kill. I know he's really grateful for that. That was a really great shot on my part, cause my teammate. That's when you. That's when you need to hit a headshot, you know. That's like the. That's like the best time to hit a headshot when you when you need to save a teammate. But right here, this is where we are. Oh, and they came up behind. Jam my gun in the worst time possible, and just and just got wrecked. It's right here, hoping my teammates could hold it down. And look at look at that, what I was talking about. The Lancers, just Lancers over shotguns at times. Sometimes it could be shotguns over Lancers, but as you're seeing right there, just Lancers could definitely just devastate uh, the, pl the, just the place right there. And these guys really almost won. They almost brought it back right here, but we, were, we I came in and just bodied him and we got the cap. This dude tried to rush in. He stopped it three seconds before. Oh, yeah. I think they didn't have enough people spawned in at the time, so I was able to get the last cap, and boom. Look at that, with 25 kills, and it's the end of the second round. And Learn from your mistakes, one more round man. to go. But and I think I get up. a, yeah, I, by the end of this, I get 37 kills, actually. Look at all those caps. Look at all the points that I've been racking. Captures really do rack up the points. 300 point per capper and and game modes like this actually level you up a lot because it's based more on objective instead of killing so but at the same time this is a competitive match this is more uh this is competitive 
This ain't social. Social only had TDM. Competitive uh, had King of the Hill. So, I think they were actually trying to bring people together and actually play more as a team than with another headshot right there. I don't even know if you want. If you guys want to count the headshots that you guys could count, I probably think about maybe eight, nine in total. But like I was saying, this is more competitive. People have to keep running into the hill trying to actually play as a team and together. It's not more who gets the kills. Almost got his head right there. The classic torque bow versus versus sniper, and he actually got me while getting down. That was a really great torque bow on his part. And right with the way there's like maybe four or five spawns in this I would recommend when you play Gears of War definitely on King of the Hill or I think any game mode that allows to respawn multiple times so always watch your back because at times it will spawn your enemies right beside you and it could catch you off guard insanely quick like sometimes the spawn times will be like two three seconds they'll spawn and, and, and quick and you'll be right there they'll come right behind you just shocking you it happens a lot in Gridlock uh, a little bit more difficult on this map just because how you have to run out off the bridge onto the bottom or onto the bridge right there save my teammate one of my other teammate this time I know my, my I remember my friend actually being completely enraged with me because I kept saving oh, yeah. my teammates and it was <laughs> it was actually quite funny <laughs> I think the worst thing in this game is to jam your gun. It's just the worst feeling ever. And with another headshot. It's just the worst when you're just scoping in scoping in with your sniper and you just get your head blown off from a different angle. It's just terrible. Got my friend, got him down, and just gave him the good old curve stomp right to the head. Always the best feeling. It gives you the same popping noise as a, as a sniper rifle shot to the head. It's just amazing. Uh, the guy with the turbo still hasn't seen me. I think he noticed me right here. I'm gonna rush up behind him. Kinda, I was kind of getting a little cocky with the sniper. I was doing a little good. Should have just ran in there, shotgunned him. Uh, Should have just ran in there and yeah, just kind of just finished him off. But... Oh, with the body. I know he was getting mad. He should have got me with first shot, but it didn't take no damage. That's another thing that might be a problem with this game. Sometimes, sometimes the shotgun... It could be a completely one shot, and sometimes you could be right next to somebody, and it won't do anything. It just it will get the the least amount of damage to somebody, and it's, it's really weird at times. I don't, I'm not sure if it's really based off connection or what really is, or maybe it's just because of the beta. But I'm hoping they do fix that. Right there, the yeah. aiming. I've, I personally think when they roll towards you and stuff Sweet. like that, I personally think blind firing is more appropriate, but when they're a good distance, I personally prefer the aiming because you could, I think, I personally think it does more damage and it hits in, in a closer area and a farther range, but that's, that's just me and my thoughts about that, really. I really want it right there. I thought I was going to get a collateral. I had a really strong feeling I was going to get it, but I just, I just missed. And then I got another headshot on the dude. I was just kind of on fire on these guys are getting headshots. But yet again, these guys weren't really too crazy good. And we were actually pulled on the second round. We actually kind of dominated, pulled up, and I was able to get a 37 kills. Look at that, another headshot. Yeah, right here, and that's really the end of it, guys. And yeah. I hope you guys did enjoy 37 kills day two on canals uh day three will be uh, i can't remember what map but whatever map it is uh i'll be posting it up well peace guys if you guys did like just remember to uh leave a comment like and yeah you guys are amazing thank you for watching